Well, hello. For all you don't know, this show is Daily Momentum. My name is Kirkland, and you always know I'm always bringing a free value. I just enjoy uh, motivating you all. Continue daily, trying to get set you into a path to just get you moving. So I'm excited that I am being able to do this for you. Uh, to all my friends, my families, all you all that are out sharing and uh, liking the videos that I bring tonight or today, what I want to talk about is leadership. Uh, a lot of times we tend to uh, get leadership mixed up. We think about being this big boss and uh, pointing and saying, you're fired. Uh, you do this, you do that, you do that. And a lot of times it's not all about that. Now there's many, many things where we can break this thing down to talk about leadership. But I'm talking about leadership in a, in a way that will allow you in a mannerism and take accountable for things. So in two uh, detailed topics that I want to talk about in leadership is humility and I want to talk about accountability. So one thing that we do know that having humility and accountability are very, very broad words in leadership. But starting off, I like to talk about my parents, for for instance, uh, put in great leadership skills within me, which I am very thankful and humble for the characters that I pull out of each one of them to bring me to this point. My father was very disciplined because he was in the service, so they went by certain tasks and different things that they did, they had to complete them. And so he tend to grow and to put all this within us. And so it was, he did a lot of where we had to practice of training ourselves into a disciplined way and a code of behavior how we had to set within ourselves. Um, my mother, Tim, was, she was pretty much uh, easily, she could pivot. She was busy minded. I think she did all the way know exactly what her talents was, but as I got a little bit older, I seen and understand some of the things she was really good at and uh, being able to manage money and stuff like that. She was really good about that, which brings me to that she had a very entrepreneurial mind because my mom would uh, be able to move and to make money in certain ways that we didn't really understand, but as I got older, I understand why. My mother was really entrepreneurial, and maybe she didn't even really know it, but she had skills. So, talking about humility, and I don't want to take up all your time, I want to get straight to the point. And like I said, I appreciate you all for joining me. If you uh, get a chance, you like and share this video that I'm always having. And for one thing you do know, that I'm always going to tell you, that this is Daily Momentum. Okay, my name is Kirkland. Humility is harmonious. In order to develop these great leaderships, you have to have a little harmonious humility within you. And, and, and in different ways, you're going to have to take that humility and not use them skills of always pointing fingers uh, um, about different things. You have to have a, a status of being able to sit within you uh, to not always going off of your opinion, but other people's opinion. Sometimes some things that being a good leadership is listening to other people's directions and, and learning from them directions to help you become a great leader. So you got to bounce off other people to learn different things. Also, accountability is owning up to uh, your failures. A lot of people in leadership don't want, they want to pass blame on you, but you got to be able to take all the blame as being the leadership because you direct and guide the ship. And uh, just to take focus and blame and that, that you don't need to be blaming other people about things. 
uh, when the ship goes wrong or the, the, the leadership is directing another way or you're not all the time up, the, up all the time, you can't place blame on it. You have to take this blame. And you, one other thing you have to do in, in accountability, you have to be able to handle adversity. Uh, you cannot be a micromanagement. In micromanaging, managing people always on their back. And sometimes you gotta let, if you pick that person to do different skills, thing, let them do this thing. And, and later down the line, you can always say, hey, you did a great job in this, but maybe you need to work on these certain things, but not always stand behind them point directly things. Uh, one thing about your self in being a leadership, you have to have uh, great self-esteem. And sometimes it takes a little bit of time for other people when you have it leadership, you have self-esteem. You gotta feel good about yourself. You got to be able to uh, condition yourself to be able to uh, build yourself up, encourage yourself all the time. And you got to always be able to pivot. Always be able to pivot because every day things are not going to go the right way. You can't get mad and angry and fussing and blaming other people. You have to learn how to direct your people. Allow them to be directed in a different way and say, hey, look, let, let's go another way. Or say, take a moment if you're angry and you say, hey, just give me a moment and we'll get back to the children. Okay? And then you take it and you take these skills that you have and be able to shoot to pivot in certain ways. So, thank you for listening to me. Always liking and sharing. I appreciate you guys. I just want to drop some little tips and tricks all the time with you to help you in your skills in daily life. Because God has put talent in you and you will be a great leader one day. So take these skills and learn. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.